Hello viewers, well, today was a quite interesting day for the Maserati. So I took off the uh, the resonator, the, the system, whatever you want to call it, the X-pipe, as you see right here, that go, comes after the, the catalytic converters. That's out, and I installed or custom made me one using some jet pipes for a Camaro. Anyways, so uh, the installation came up pretty okay, pretty good actually. All I had to do was probably cut off around the long end, away from the X. I cut, I want to say, five inches maybe? Let me see. I'll tell you in a second. Oh, make sure you're looking at this. That's what I cut. So I cut this plus three quarters of an inch. So I'll measure that in a second. So okay, let's 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 go look at this. So two of the hose clamps that came that were in the Maserati, you had to cut them off from the uh, the back pipe that goes to the rear muffers. Two of this I had to cut off. They were that they were actually tack welded on. If you see, see the tack weld right there? Oh, there's a tack weld right there. So I had to cut the tack weld off. Now this right here, as you can see. From the X pipe that I purchased, I cut off six inches off from the long end. Six inches from the long end. Well, here we are, viewers. Here's the pipe. This is a 2.5 inch pipe. Here's the uh, the clamps. Pretty, not no super super crazy. There is belt out right here. I want to call it belt out because it's uh, out. It's a little belt out right here too. The welding, the welding is pretty good. They do cross. The true cross pipes, so that, so they balance out. We'll see how this, what this sounds like on the Maserati Gran Turismo. Okay, call me skeptical or crazy, but I am going to put jack stands underneath this thing right here, front and back. At the fronts. Don't have to be too crazy about it, but just, just enough in case those things decide to collapse, you have a safety margin. So I'm going to be working underneath, 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 underneath this car, removing the uh, center pipe. Well, viewers, this is what the project is going to be. Removing that pipe up there in the middle. 
that pipe right there. There's the back connections. And here's the front part of the connections right here, right there. Now if I go thinking of anything, I am going to WD for anything that has threads, connections. Why not? Douse it. Don't be shy. Trust me, you be, you be thankful that you did that. Uh, moving to the 401s. See how rusty they are. A little bit of juice. A juice. Oh. Ah, UPS is here. Okay, here is what we gotta do. All the hose clamps are, are loose. Everything's loose. So I can move the pipes. The back pipes, I can move them. But I'm gonna disconnect this bridge connectors right here to make this pipe a little more flexible, but they are movable. Uh, and then I'm gonna basically bring back and strike it right here and bring back. See the separation already? I already have uh, here about a good inch and a half of separation. So I'm gonna drive it back. So I'm gonna strike it right there. Separated here, and these pipes are, are moving. See, they're coming loose right here. But since I have this grommets right here, that's holding the pipe in place. So I'm gonna remove this these little bridges right here. All right, so here we are removing the cross member bridge. Out, out and out. Next. Now you notice how the pipe moved. Now the whole thing is flexible enough to do what I need to do. Everything is super flexible now. All the way to the back and the front. All right, let's go to work. Where's my hammer? Hammer on her drum. I go smack it right here. Uh huh. How about that? For a dollar. We are. We got this one. Already down. Wonder what a car sounds like like this. And this is out. And this is out. 